Hey, this is your girl Tashi, and I'm back with another video. So, someone wanted me to react to the top 10 most effective, uh, effective British adverts. Um, I think I did something like this before. I had to, but I had to go back and check. I don't think it's the same video. I think this one is different. So, I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Okay. Because... Uh, some of them adverse y'all be having is like, they're different. <laughs> different. Okay, so they give you a warning. It says some of the ads featured in this countdown are extremely graphic and contain adult themes which some viewers may find upsetting and disturbing and not for the faint-hearted and you have been warned. Okay, so Okay, let's go. Why is that sound? That's scary. It's a scary sound. What in the world? Last year in England, 15 children died in house fires. Children like yours. So parents, I'd like you to make a promise. Repeat after me. I swear on my child's life to test my smoke alarm on clock change day. To give my family the best chance of surviving a house fire. That's important. That's so true. You did promise, didn't you? Did you? Because you can't turn back time. I kind of knew that he was a ghost. I kind of knew. I had to figure. Because I was like, why would he be in there? In the, if there was a fire there. And he said 15 kids had died. But how he made it. I kind of figured he was a ghost. That's sad. Check your fire alarms. Check them. Um, new scooter. Oh, yeah. You know those ones, where? Oh, hold on. Better get this, buddy. Hello, Martin. Wasn't expecting to hear from you today. Well, wasn't Steve supposed to be sorting that out on Friday? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, Alice is one of thousands of St. John Ambulance volunteers. She's fully trained in first aid and knows what to do in any situation. Say something, buddy. She can be the difference between life and death. But what she can't do is be there every time. Briefly. I thought that that was the mother and she saw what was happening. I thought that was the mother and I thought she saw what happened. She was going to run to her son. What in the... I could be at home now. Watching telly with the kids. Or I was thinking about going for a pint. Instead, I punched my lung. And it's slowly filling up with blood. 
I'm going into cardiac arrest now. Silly place to overtake, really. Still, you live and learn. Don't you? Don't ride too fast. Slow it down. It's not worth it. Even when you're driving, slow down. It's not worth it. Now you know how it feels to get motor neurone disease. Help us fight back. Thank you. Okay. You look really well. Yeah. What have you been up to? Lots of rock climbing. Lots. <laughs> that sounds good. So, how's life these days? Yeah, things are good. Got a job, got a girlfriend, got a little boy. Never let him go through what I went through. Still having the nightmares, though. But my anger's under control. I trust people more. I'm getting a bit better now. You know, it's like I can see a way out. That one from Bernardo's is all right. We talk a lot. And I trust her. Everyone else could just do one. Women from Bernardo's doesn't give up. Keeps asking why I nick stuff. Do drugs, hit people. I told her where to go. Told my His foster parents where to go. space is changing. Just like the last ones. Don't trust no one. I ain't changing. They love the being I'm possible. very young. So young. thick. the fire that leaves you homeless. A heart attack in aisle six. The prescription you cannot collect. I'm the boiled sweet stuck in your child's throat. The motorway pileup that leaves you traumatized. The food shopping you cannot do. I'm the reason you need a wheelchair. The flood that leaves you stranded. The empty house when you return from hospital. I am a crisis. Damn. And I don't care who you are. are so sad oh my god. and scary at the same time they make it so scary oh my god 
Oh, come on. Oh, the, oh man. Audio removed due to copyright. Oh my god. Are you serious? I think he's choking. Oh, he's trying to come back. Okay, okay, keep it up. He's choking. Why are you laying down? How long are they going to be? They'll be here five in five. They need to be here now. Well, then, if it's left thing, you just push him on the I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my God. I mean, it does that bit. It's crazy how he had cancer. He beat cancer. And it took him just to eat a burger and choke on whatever he was choking on. Just to die. So either way, death was waiting for him. There was no running away from that. But the fact that he's choking, they had him laying on his back. That's the worst thing you ever want to do. Um, yeah, I took CPR. And you definitely don't want to put... You definitely don't want to have the person lay on their back. this one so I remember this one and if let you out again if they you want this little cow come on in check the fruits I, I don't know what it says all right you okay here here okay I can't I can't you want this little cow that smack is like so loud it's sad. It's sad. It's very sad. Especially it starts from home, you know? Whatever they're going through. Elena didn't think anyone would hurt her. Elena trusted everyone. Maria doesn't trust anyone. Elena wanted to learn English. Maria gets beaten if she says no. Elena worked in a market to support her family. Maria works for nothing. Elena wanted to help people and be a nurse. Maria services up to 40 men a day. Elena used to cry when her father was cross with her. Maria doesn't feel anything anymore. Elena's family thinks she's dead. Help me. I was Elena. I am Maria. Help me. I'm here. This is a sad thing, and, and there's like 
millions of people, females, especially uh, men too, quite sure men too, that goes through this. And it's just sad that they are they out there and they're going through this. It's, it makes it even more sad, you know? It's, it's just sad. She said 40 men a day. Clashes with British. Find ammunition against the serve to get shot. Nice Last strikes on rebel position. What's happening? Go. Have you found some enrichment? That is so true. All right, y'all. So that was it. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie. To, uh, this was so hard for me to watch. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was so hard. Stuff like this make me so sad, and I, I be wanting to cry. And uh, it was scary at the same time. My heart was racing so fast watching this. This is. Whoever crazy these these things do have you thinking though. They do have you thinking. See, they see stuff like this. They won't like advertise on like here in America because it's it's, it's it's very very harsh. But sometimes you need that harshness. Sometimes we need that, you know. But some people is gonna fight for that. They're not gonna want us, you know, want this to be advertised on TV and stuff like that because it's too harsh. You know, they they want you to uh, they want you to watch stuff where have rainbows and stuff like that. <laughs> but I, I just said to my get it, this would definitely scare you to death because I go like this this scared the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, so comment below. Let me know what's what's your opinion on this. How you feel about this uh, adverts? Um, I don't know if they really show. I don't know if they did they show this on TV. Did or. These are adverts that they, they didn't show on TV. I'm confused. Because I know that there, there are um, adverts where they'll show it on YouTube. But these are adverts like that's been banned off of TV. So I don't know if this is one if these are one of them. So comment below let me know. But man, man. I might be the only one was feeling like. I don't know. Like uh, shaky and anxiety. I don't know. It was just too much going on. It was just scary. Uh, yeah, but yeah, comment below. Let me know how you feel about this, and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check these videos out. And I will see you later. Take care.